Hello guys, another video from my car and I decided to shoot those or publish those every Saturday on my YouTube channel like a weekend tradition and topic of the day is senior developers. Who are those guys? Or the question that I get on my social media, how to become a senior developer? And I've done some research uh, related to technical topics or Laravel topics about senior developers, analyzed a lot of job ads on Laravel jobs and other media and I've, I've put it all on my GitHub in Laravel Roadmap. So part of that roadmap is the senior section and I've listed the topics for Laravel, what you need to learn from a technical point of view to become closer to senior developer. And I will put that link in the description below. But while analyzing those ads, I realized that senior development is much more than a topic of uh, technical things. So different companies expect from senior developers to be something else, something more than coder. And there are different visions, different companies describe it in a different way. So the question becomes what kind of senior developer you want to become. For example, if you want to get deeper into technical knowledge, senior developer uh, becomes then kind of CTO, uh, chief technical officer, and is responsible for any technical decisions like architect architectural decisions, maybe a few more programming languages needed to be learned, maybe some scaling issues, so all the buzzwords like flexibility, maintainability, scalability, and all of that stuff should be a daily kind of headache for a senior developer. So basically responsible for all the technical parts. So that's a senior developer who is really only technical. Another part of kind of technical but not exactly coding is some companies expect DevOps from senior developer. So AWS scaling, uh, setting up the processes for CI, CD, uh, automated testing and all of those server stuff, which is technically not a part of coding, but if you are senior, you should maybe learn some of that scaling, like Laravel Vapor, for example, is another topic for that, or serverless architecture in general. So you can go that route. So after learning Laravel, you can go that, the route of DevOps. Uh, then you can go into team lead position as another option. So some job advertisements mention more like senior developer there is more like team lead. Uh, so managing the juniors, managing the processes of communication, overseeing all the process, working on the sprints, like kind of like team coach and still responsible for architectural decisions, but not for implementation and with minimal amount of coding themselves. So that's another position of senior developer team lead. And finally, for some companies, they understand senior developer as a person who is participating in the business processes as well. So taking part in client meetings, in requ requirements, uh, specification, uh, writing the technical docs for other developers, overseeing the agile process and agile, everything agile is kind of like a buzzword these days. So more like technical project manager and client manager in a way. So if you like dealing with people and dealing with, dealing with processes of uh, releasing the projects and uh, stuff like that so you can go that route so again the question what kind of senior developer you want to become because the term senior developer is quite vague and misunderstood often and there are edge cases like can you become a senior developer if you're a freelancer not part of the team still working on a lot of projects but uh, is it possible to become a senior developer probably yes but then who tells you that you're a senior if you're a freelancer maybe it's just the title that you put in yourself on your linkedin or upwork profile or whatever it's just whenever you feel like it it seems like but actually what it comes down to in all of those cases uh, whatever kind of senior developer you want to become uh, in my mind i concluded it comes down to responsibility level so seniority basically means you are responsible for something really important, for important decisions, crucial decisions for the project, whether it's technical decisions or client decisions or sometimes business processes decisions. So you are the ultimately responsible for quite a lot of important stuff, even money. So for example, your decision would affect the money, revenue or loss for the company. So the more experience you have, the more practical experience you have on different projects, 
throughout your career, the more chance that your next company would uh, lead you to that decision, would trust you with that decision. So that's why it takes like five to eight years on average, and that's only average, of course, there are exceptions. So take five to eight years to become a senior developer. It may be more, it may be 10 years, because you need to gain enough experience, enough practical, various different experience within your main language or framework or a few others to be able to make decisions for a bigger company, for a team, or if you're a freelancer for a project that's like a million dollars at stake, if it's successful or not. The scaling issue, stuff like that, you need to have enough experience and practice to become the one who makes those decisions. So this is my overall message to you. If you want to become a senior developer, keep practicing on different projects and try to take responsibility more and more step by step first you just need to stop asking questions like what is the next task that sh that i should do you should think it for yourself choose the task that is more important for the company for the team and try to take ownership for the decisions so instead of asking how should i do task x you should do the task then show to whoever is your teammate or your current manager so basically take responsibility make more decisions uh, if you are learning something important from that, then coach others, coach your colleagues, your maybe junior developers or others. Uh, another kind of impression and another uh, description of the senior development is the more you coach others, the more you teach others, and the less you ask others for help, the more senior you become. It's not even about technical stuff, it's more about whether you teach others and mentor others uh, and coach others so that's another way of doing that so basically the more responsibility for bigger decisions you get the senior the more senior you are do you agree with such description let's discuss in the comments and if you have any other ideas what should i talk about uh, or about senior developers uh, one of those types maybe some deeper level just shoot in the comments and let's discuss and as I said, I will publish those videos from my car about general career, web development and productivity and business every Saturday on this channel, every Saturday morning. So subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.